Hello, I'm Casey Dinges, Senior Managing Director for the American Society of Civil Engineers. Thanks for joining us today for a discussion on the value of PR to your company. My guest today is Robert Day. Rob runs a PR firm in the Washington, D.C. region and has more than 25 years of experience in PR, public affairs, marketing, and journalism. Welcome, Rob. Thanks, Casey, and thanks to the Society for having me here today. Civil engineers often must convince the public or policymakers that a project is important to the community. How could public relations help them to be more successful in this process? Well, first let me say that I have a soft spot for civil engineers. My father was a civil engineer and he worked for a big firm in New Jersey. It took us all over the world. And then we came to the Washington area for uh, him to work for the Department of Transportation. Uh, designing roads and bridges, so I do have a soft you're, spot. For you're already instance. part of the family. I am part of the family. Public relations is really important for uh, for firms because what they have to do is they have to tell a story about how their project benefits people. It's about benefits. It's not about features. Um, it really is. It's about safety. It's about convenience. It's about quality of life. So they have to tell that story, not only to the people who of the community who are going to benefit, but to lawmakers and administrators and all of the different people that have to make the, the decision. And their own team has to be on board with that too. So it's really important for them to be able to explain what they're doing, why they're doing it, and how they're doing it. And that garners a lot of respect when you're, when you're open with your communication. Like and you're, you're using terms that the public the terms that will resonate with the public. Yes, plain English always. Engineers are, are highly educated people and they have their own jargon just like every profession does. And so, yes, yeah, speaking in plain English and having your keywords together and the way you describe your project is, is very important so really people can understand what you're doing. You've recently written a public relations book called Spark, mm -hmm. the Complete Public Relations Guide for Small Business. What are some easy ways an engineering firm can use public relations? I'm real excited about that. It just, it just came out. And the purpose of the book is uh, for companies that really don't have an internal staff who does public relations. Um, or if they do, this, this has got hundreds of ideas in there. But um, the importance of, of public relations, I think, for, uh, for any kind of an engineering firm would be to um, really become top of mind with their audiences. So they're obviously, they're always bidding on projects. So you want to be written about in the newspaper and be on television, on radio. You want people to meet you at various functions. You want to be on social media. And engineers are always uh, attending different kinds of functions. So when they say, what, what do you do? It's not um, just, I'm an engineer. What I do is I make people's lives better by uh, you know, helping the infrastructure and communities and safety and all the things that we talked about just a second ago. Some companies may be apprehensive about working with the news media. What tips would you give an engineering firm to help ease their anxiety? Well, uh, an interview with the news media is just a business transaction. What, th what you're giving them is a great story idea and what they're giving you is exposure. So reporters and editors are always looking for good story ideas. They, they really don't want to do a, a story on your company per se, but what they want is a story idea that may involve your company. So let's say you're working on a big infrastructure project of some kind. They're going to want your opinion on how this is going to work and how it's going to affect people all that kind of stuff. I've been hearing a lot about the importance of storytelling. Mm -hmm. Why is it important and why, why should a company care about that? Casey, storytelling, I think, is everything when it comes to communication. It's how we as human beings communicate with each other through storytelling. So uh, I think engineers have a great story to tell because of what they do. People understand what they do if you explain it to them in a way that is easy to digest. So having your key messages together, I think that uh, making sure those messages are out in the public and explaining it in a way that people can understand is really important. But reporters are not, are not the enemy, and people are afraid to talk to reporters, even, even you know, especially with some of the bigger papers. But remember, what they're looking for is a good story. So if you, if you, wanna, uh, if you have a good story idea, for your local newspaper or for a national publication, then think of that from the reporter's point of view. 
call them up and say, I have a great story idea for you. And it just so happens that our firm has two people who would make great sources for this story. And we can introduce you to other people in the industry who can help you flesh out this story. Well, if you do that, you, you've done the work, the prep work for the reporter. Now all they have to do is do the interviews and write the story. So engineers, the, they have the story already. It's yeah. just the telling part that maybe they need some assistance with. Sure. I mean, everybody has a story. Everybody does. Every individual and certainly every company. And so um, what you have to do is, uh, is make sure that you sort of dig down into the organization and find out what the stories are. The stories aren't always about engineering. Maybe you have somebody on the staff who is a championship skier, maybe tried out for the Olympics, or you have somebody who's an opera singer, or somebody who is a, a, a championship golfer. Well, that could be your entry. I mean, imagine an engineering firm starting out in the sports page, and they have to mention that the person is an engineer and works for this particular firm. Well, that's, that's your entree. That's great publicity. You know, it adds color to the story. It adds color to your firm. And uh, it makes you look well-rounded. People, you know, that's good storytelling. That's good advice. Thank you. Rob, thank you for joining me today for this valuable discussion on how PR can boost your company's visibility. Thanks, Casey. Thanks for having me today. I enjoyed it. For more information on ASC's Interchange program, visit asce.org slash interchange. Thanks for joining us today, and we'll see you next time on the ASCE Interchange.